Right. And the first part of our strategy is to identify those agents with um, people who actually like them. So we've gone down a list. We put in Nottingham Letting to give it a broad search. And I've come across Butterfield Taylor here. Now, what I'll do there is actually go to their page. And as you can see, they've got 5,603 likes. Now, that seems a lot because I haven't come across that many uh, on letting agent sites. So I'm just going to click it to have a look on the insights. And what you can see is that the average age group is 18 to 24, which maybe may, may not be right. The most popular week was the 8th, 8th of December. But as you can see, there's a massive spike there of three likes. And from three likes, it goes to 1,679 1, likes in less than a week. So we can assume they've been bought from Albania or wherever they've, they've gone to. So we're not going to go there to, to get, our, get our audience. So we'll go back to the pages. Let's have a look at Nottingham students. Let's target the Nottingham. So I'm going to go to the Nottingham student page. Have a look at that. And just have a look at the insights here. As you can see, it's quite natural, and it's building naturally. Um, so you've got two, 24 oh, days. So they've had some campaign that's gone on um, over that period of time, or they might have bought likes. We don't know, but it seems pretty natural there. There is a certain natural path, but again, they could have been bought. Don't know. And it is the right grouping, 1824. But once we've identified them, what I can do is now go back to the page and I can extract um, their like UIDs, which I'll do from the page. Yeah, and I'm just going to pause this because it takes a bit of time. Well, actually, it doesn't take that much time. And I've extracted those now. And save those as let's save those as um, well, same as Marcin has that. And we're now going to do the same for hearts. Have a quick look at. Uh, just go to that page. And go to the insights. The age groups 25 to 34, and again they haven't had any movement whatsoever, so they're not active on their Facebook by the looks of it. So we'll just go back to Hearts again and see what they're adding and what they're not adding. And they haven't been active at all. Look at that. No activity whatsoever. Since the 2nd of December. So not real great fans or just don't have the individuals that have the desire and want to do it. So anyway, we're going to go back to the page and we're going to get there, extract the likes and UIDs. 16 posts to do, so we'll go through 16 posts and do that. Now what I'm going to do is all of them, saving those files, and once I've done that, I'll go back. So I've taken all the uh, letting agents, so I've got more than 100 likes, and uh, other than the, the one that we saw earlier on, which has got 5,600, which I think is a load of rubbish, 5,590. Um, so I've taken all these, and now to give you an idea of what's in them, I'll just go to Cambridge Lettings, open up. Excel. So this is one of the Excel files working for Comfort Lettings, and what we've got here is the the unique identification of Facebook users. So now that we've got these, what we can do is uh, essentially put them into a list and create a custom audience, which I'm going to show you how to do now. 
So out of that activity, we've managed to get um, approximately 450 odd individuals on the different Facebooks of letting agents in Nottingham. Now I'm going to actually create using create a campaign using Power Editor in Facebook. So let's do that. Just before I come out of this powerful tool of ours, um, I, we can have a look at what is interesting is to see what posts people have been putting on their Facebooks. So there's, there's 246 posts to display. It's obviously fairly active at Royal Let's. But this actually shows how many people are liking them. It's been a busy day. Um, here's a post of a busy day. And we can actually go to that, go to post. And see why it's been liked. Um, and it's a busy day for our best month so far. That was 27th of November, and eight people like that. Um, don't know why, but eight people liked them. And as you can see, all these, all this information is fairly public, and you can add them as friends and so on. This is a site. Just a just side step for a second. This is a site that we run. On Camping Caravan, we've got 4,051 individuals that love us. Um, and what we've got here is just four hours ago, we posted this great picture that shows the power of imagery. 31 people liked that, and 1,411 people saw that post. And this was done yesterday. 80 people like, 85 people like that, and 2,000 people saw that post. And as you can see, that's an organic reach. Um, and obviously the business is a very different type of business. And here, uh, this particular post got 128 people liking it. And it had 3,604 people actually saw it. So this community is very engaged. And it's engaged communities that we're trying to create. And obviously we can do exactly the same thing with landlords, typing in landlords in the UK, and we'll find different pages and forums where we'll find these individuals. So I'll just go to this page, and as you can see, got 2,691 landlords there, and let's have a quick look at their engagement. And the engagement seems fairly okay, so as landlords are those type of creatures not really that interested in um, sitting on Facebook. And this just goes to show it, although they may want to join one. Uh, let's see if they have actually joined it. Let's have a look at that. Click that. And 25 to 34 year olds. And yeah, it seems fairly natural in the way they've done that, so I can assume they're building that actually. Just before I uh, go off on to using Facebook and the Power Editor, just want to show you something slightly, slightly different uh, whilst I've got your attention. Uh, we've got access to a list of virtually every single paper in the U UK, which means we can go back, uh, I mean this shows today's, but we can go back to the last six months. Now, what that means uh, potentially is two things. Firstly, we can identify landlords that have been advertising for the last six months. And if you took the landlords from six months ago, let me just do that one moment. So I've gone back six months or so. I'm just going to look at that newspaper. And as you can see, it brings up the newspaper then. Um, what can do is actually go back to the advertisers. I'm just going to scroll forward. It obviously means I don't have to buy the, any of the papers throughout the UK. And see and watch, read them on this. As painful as that may sound, but I'm just going to go through to the classified advertiser. Now I've gone back to the paper on the 31st and uh, Saturday and Sunday, 31st of August and the 1st of September. And right here, uh, there's a spot there in the Nottingham Post. Now I can secure that spot in every single newspaper in North Cliff and Johnston Press at that point there if interested. Uh, we have a deal with 
the papers that allows us to do that and it is very very cost effective although some of the papers may not be in the areas of the landlords uh, of the franchisees that you have and some of them may overlap but that's something up for discussion but what I'm going to do is go to some of the, some of the people advertising during this weekend which is about six months ago so we're going to the paper on Saturday 31st and if we go down to the bottom of this you've got your property section and here you've got a number of landlords advertising privately what I do with these is call them if it was me, uh, which I have done in the past, I would call them, ask them how they're doing with their tenancy, because it's about over six months, and I would uh, put them into a database and then put them on an autoresponder. So month in, month out, I'm sending them good quality emails about our service and what we do. And as I don't have a, I will create a, a lettings agency page, but as I don't have one, I'm just going to use this for a second, which uh, for a second, which is my test page for. As you can see, it's only got one person liking it. It's brewing me, uh, but it's a test page of campaigns I do, just to test them out. Um, things like video campaigns here, um, the courthouse in Westminster, which is um, another campaign that we put together. This is a competition campaign. This is a free review campaign, which when you click, uh, brings up a great review on a product, and then will lead you to a a landing page again this leads to a landing page this is our page on um, a page on camping and caravanning which we use to sell product and uh, again that's a product page that's a video page uh, but what I'm going to do here is set up an advertising campaign uh, to promote if this was um, a lettings business to promote this so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to create a campaign which um, in this, on this particular thing let's do it create uh, likes and it's going to be to the courtroom the courthouse and it's asking me to upload images and so on which you can do so we'll use that um, courthouse okay yep let's probably do that I'm not going to go into the tips of because we're actually going to use our own custom audiences, which we'll find. So here we've got create custom audience. This is a data file, MailChimp, and we're going to do data file. And I'm going to call this letting agents. I'm going to spell it properly. Letting agents. It's not again. Great spelling there. So now I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to choose a file, and we're going to choose Nottingham Agents. Now we've added the agents to it, and at this moment in time, what's happening is it's create, continue to create your audience while your customer list is being built. So we've uploaded the uh, file to there. I'm not going to bother with the rest of it. But at this stage now, what we do is create an advert and target the audience towards that advert um, to build the Facebook likes. And that's that in terms of using uh, this process and doing it.